I'm Kate from Easy Entertaining, and today we're going to make a Gouda appetizer with a fruit chutney topping. So this is great if you're having a crowd over, and it's super simple. So we're going to start with our ingredients. There's kind of two parts here. We're going to make a fruit topping, a fruit jelly kind of compote. And for that, we're going to use a little bit of butter. We're going to use some onions, a jalapeno, a little bit of brown sugar, some grapes, and maybe a little bit of vinegar if we need that. Then, of course, we're going to use some Gouda, salt and pepper, and that's it. So let's get started with our fruit topping. I'm going to start by putting uh, about a tablespoon of butter in my pan here that I have nice and warm. I'd say a medium heat. We're going to let it melt down. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my red onions. And while these are beginning to cook down, I'm going to slice a little bit of jalapeno. Now this is preferential. If you don't like any spice, you don't need to add it in. Now the hottest part of the jalapenos are the seeds. So if you want a little mild heat, just go ahead and pull out the membrane with the seeds and just use the actual pepper part. And you don't want to blow people away, but this is a sweet kind of topping that you're making, so sometimes it's nice to have a little heat with it. Add these in, I'm going to give it a shake. As soon as the onions start to become almost translucent, then you know that you're kind of at the point where we can go ahead and add our grapes. And this couldn't be easier. You add grapes whole, and they're going to actually cook down slowly. The whole process takes uh, about 10 minutes. So in go the grapes, and at this point you might need to turn the heat up a little bit. At this point I like to add a little kick of sweetness, a little bit of brown sugar, and I sprinkle it almost like I would be sprinkling salt. So you just want to let this cook down 10, maybe 15 minutes, depending on how many grapes you have in the pan. And then when you finish, it's going to look like this. And you'll have a nice syrupy kind of grape compote that's perfect for topping your Gouda. And I like to start with a really smoky Gouda. You can have it smoked over applewood or anything really like that. They usually come in um, four to five inch round chunks. You can do the whole thing. That's going to take you a little longer to melt. So I like to cut it right in half. There you go. And then the way that I like to do it is you get an oven safe pan. So this could be a baking dish. This can be a little pan that you might have on the stove top. And we just plop this right in there as your base. So think of the Gouda as your bread. And then we're going to add in our grape compote that we made. And really any fruit will do with this. You could do watermelon, peaches, anything that's in season and local to you. We're going to smother it with this beautiful grape jelly. There we go. It's not super pretty, but it's ready to go in the oven. And we're going to preheat our oven to 400 degrees, and we're going to put it in for 10 to 15 minutes and check it after that. After 10 minutes in the oven, the Gouda is going to come out warm, gooey, and delicious. Pair it with your favorite crackers, bread, or even fruit. Want to learn more? Check us out online, Easy Entertaining RI. Mm -hmm.